I'm going to show you how to set up Dashbook to handle books using a very simple setup mechanism we call ISBN Fetch. You can see the screen is set up with a wizard and that's because this is a blank database. The publisher, you can put your name of your company and your logo to go on the reports. Products is what we'll be interested in. So we can either use the wizard and click products or as it says here we can go to the data to get products. I like to just go here, products. If we hit the plus sign to create products, and I already have in my clipboard a couple of uh, ISBNs. I hit paste, and these are ISBNs. They're going to be popular books that uh, I've seen on Amazon, although this fetch does not use Amazon. When I hit OK, we're going to retrieve the information, and you can see now that we have added two books. We have the Omnivore's Dilemma has ISBN, it's listed, production date, and it's book, so we need to give it a price. I'll make up a price and say it's, you know, 20, uh, how about 16.95, and we're going to keep it as office default. If you're only doing uh, uh, books in, like Lightning Source, you might choose non-stocking, or digital, you might choose non-stocking. So that's about what you need to do to set that one up. We can hit Apply Changes and set up the next one. See, we have on this one, it's decided that you have uh, two contributors in the author section. You have J.K. Rowling, who was the actual author who wrote the book, and uh, Mary Grandpre, who did the illustrations. Again, we need to set a price and because that's not coming into the system. Now what we didn't do is set up the royalties. So I'll show you the royalties here. We need to hit apply to get the authors in there. And we're going to create a royalty. So Dashbook automatically assumes since you haven't created this one that we'll start with the first author. And if we just say that's going to be a percentage of net and I'll say that JK gets 20% of net. So we're done with that one and we still had another author and she was the illustrator so we're going to make another royalty it's there if that wasn't the right one we can change the author and title here and this particular one I'm actually say she's gonna get a fixed she's going to get 40 cents for every book because that's what I decided and we want to get 100% of that 40 cents. If we fail to put anything in there and zero, that's what she'll get, 0% of that fixed. That allows you a simple calculation to be able to distribute a fixed amount. So now we have author JK Rowling is getting 20% and Mary is getting 100% of that fixed. That's not showing up on the screen. Now we can do the same thing with Omnivore's Dilemma. We have an author of Michael, and we can go to Royalties, create a new one. It automatically chooses. We're going to say Net as well, and give him 15%. And you notice it says no royalty on sales to author. Uh, some people like this so that if they're selling the books to the author, it uh, doesn't generate royalties for it. And that's all it takes. We're done setting up the product, the authors, and the royalty agreement because ISBN Fetch did the work for us. Now all we would have to do is go into the orders. We either go into data orders or choose the same icon there. Create an order and say that this order is borders. We can type in the address and then we can choose products. And of course we can change the quantity. You know, hopefully we're selling lots of these things. And you can have a discount that's on a line item basis. Uh, in another segment, we'll see how you can and I said, get the uh, direct deposit automatically paid. How this discounts and all this line item and order stuff can be filled out for you automatically. So if we set the order to be closed and then apply it, or OK, which is the same as apply and, and save, we're finished the calculation and we can then go into reports 
and in reports you'll see royalty detail by author you'll see some royalty activity for each of the authors we also have a new one version 4 royalty summary by author so you can quickly see what's going on there and that's all it takes and any of these reports can be emailed to the author that's all